if you like start pounding the table demonstratively, you're gonna shake the That's, thing. That'll be Christopher. Sounds good. So, <laughs> yeah. uh, hello, I'm Dan Nadell, <laughs> um, and uh, with Christopher Forgus and Brian Chippendale here at uh, the offices of DAP Distributed Art Publishers, and we're just gonna talk for a few minutes about their new books, Power Masters Three, and If and Oof. Um, so Brian, maybe we can start with you. Uh, just briefly, If and Oof is, is an adventure story. It's 800 pages long. It took you a couple years to complete. But um, what was the most challenging aspect of, of figuring out how to kind of string together this 800 page epic? It was a challenge for me as my first uh, kind of graphic novel that wasn't serialized before it came out. So it was more, it was exciting to just have the like the opportunity to go through the entire book and revisit sections of it as I went Um, because I could change everything the entire thing was fluid the whole time the way I usually make comics is it's like I just scatter a bunch of if ideas were cards or something I just like scatter them all over the place and then spend the rest of the time trying to like pick them back up and like put them in some reasonable form like I I just kind of dove in. I was just drawing. I made a few of these really small comics that was just like them walking somewhere, doing something. Desert level, science citadel (laughs) level, all takes place in a crater. Ancient city below, but you don't ever hear about that. Castle full of boys. Mm -hmm. Plant, human, cyborg hybrids. Um, Failed creatures, and... uh, a looming dark thread of a shattered god. It's always the last stand. <laughs> it contains multiple worlds, and you've got If and Oof kind of going through these worlds and trying to figure out what's going on and running into trouble. So yeah. Who, how would you describe their relationship, If and Oof, these two guys you've got? Well, yeah, they're friends. Uh, there's a tall guy and a short guy. <laughs> a loud guy and a silent guy. <laughs> I really didn't know what was happening kind of till the very end. It was like I was constantly kind of being surprised by what they were doing. <laughs> if that makes any sense. I would wake up in the morning and look and there'd be these new pages with if enough dro- wandering around doing stuff. <laughs> and Christopher, this is Power Masters Volume 3. There have been two others. So where do we pick up with Volume 3? Well, the first one I wanted to just sort of give a feel for the characters and the environment. The second one I wanted to extrapolate just a little bit in all the directions that the story's going to go, like different sets of characters, kind of bring them out a little bit more and introduce a few more, just to expand it just a little bit. And then the third one I kind of wanted to pause for a second and show the characters basically just entertaining themselves or like... A lot of it's like leisure time or um, off hours before the fourth book, which will be like a, it's kind of like at the peak of the roller coaster, and the fourth book is kind of like a lot of action and um, dynamicism and stuff. It's one thing that people talk about a lot with your comics is the sense of design and fashion. I mean, there's a huge focus on like costumes and exactly what they're wearing and the kinds of structures that they're entering and how how those structures impact and reflect their lives mm-hmm. um, so how much time do you spend creating these architectures and these these designs and things like that I just can't help it because um, I just despise clothes and buildings and um, I just want to be a little bit comfortable with what I'm looking at and I have a desire inside that's a natural desire to um, see things that I'm not seeing so it's just part of a general uh, campaign to new outfit campaign <laughs> yes to <laughs> like campaign. just to um, survive aesthetically spiritually you you both play music uh as well, I mean, almost as much as you draw comics. Uh, do the two intersect at all? I mean, I think they feed each other. I, when you make decisions playing music, you sort of learn how to make 
almost maybe abstract decisions and stuff like you're forced to because you're dealing with abstract forms that's kind of what music is so I think it's a good it's a good technique for like letting your brain wander it's like a good exercise yeah, music's good for freedom feelings and comics are good for that too but it's more delayed yeah think, music's like instantaneous yeah it's like the same kind of hunger that comes from both well with that we'll I think we'll wrap up okay should we do our rap that we prepared? You should do you should do the rap. Power Masters three. If an oof. Out now. That's it. We don't have Thanks any guys. <laughs>